Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I hope your preparation for the upcoming RBI Grade B exam are going absolutely well. Today I am here today to discuss a very 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 important report which is the RBI's annual report for the financial year ending to, uh, 2023, right? So the final report is here which is the annual report of RBI and the question is, is it important for our exam? Kya hume puri report padni hai? See, this is a very bulky report of 330 pages. Impossible for you all to read, especially for the exam. Retention nahi ho paigi of each and every fact. If you go through this report on your own and also just one month is left for the prelim exam, it's very difficult for all of you to go through the report on your own, right? So you do not have to worry, we are here for you. This report is going to help you not just for phase one, but also for phase two and for interview as well. Yes, questions can be asked about the annual report, about the balance sheet and income statement of RBI for the fiscal year ending 2023. This question has been asked in interviews. That is why it is very, very, very important. So, this information about the RBI, the working of RBI, what RBI has done in the last one year and what is the future agenda of RBI. This all we will come to know all the information through this RBI annual report. Let's get started. Bohat lambi report hai. So we'll quickly skim through it and I will be discussing each and every topic which is very important for your exam. Also, I will be discussing what are the possible questions that can be asked and also kaha se questions a sakte hai. Thik. Let's start with the RBI's annual report 2022-2023. Sabse pehle, this report will provide you, uh, you know, information about RBI's functioning and what all steps have been taken by the RBI towards various functions of the RBI, right? And at the same time, backward looking bhi hai. This, this report, you know, any annual report of the preceding, uh, of the previous year is a backward looking document. It talks about whatever is done in the last one year. But at the same time, this report also talks about the future agenda also. Okay, what sector mein kya kaam karne wali hai in future. Now, one piece of information I want to give you before start. This video or this annual report will be discussed in two parts. Today, I am talking, uh, you know, the report will have part one, which will have six chapters. In total, there are 12 chapters in this uh, annual report. And in this video, I am just going to cover the first six chapters in detail. Iske ilawa, aapko kuch aur padne ki zarurat nahi hai. These will be sufficient for you. The, the notes will be sufficient and the part two will be available for enrolled students. However, on YouTube, we are going to present the part one of the video, which will have the first six chapters. I hope I made myself clear. Let's talk about RBI and RBI's annual report. Sabse pehle, when you talk about annual report, kisi bhi stakeholder ke dimaag mein, any stakeholder, what do you think of, when you think of the annual report, what have you done in the last one year? The first thing that comes to anyone's mind is what was the income? What are the assets? What is the liability? In short, balance sheet ke baare mein batao. This is exactly we are going, what we are going to start with, the balance sheet. However, this is in the last chapter of the annual report, but we are going to cover this in the beginning because uh, the balance sheet is very, very, very important. Okay, you can't miss kar sakte. Questions have been asked in phase two and also in the interview, right? Sabse pehle, on the liability side, we have capital. Kisi bhi organization ka, kisi bhi institute ka. Uh, you know, the, the most important thing is on the liability side, sabse upar hota hai capital. The capital of RBI is 5 crore, right? That is the RBI in rupees crore. This is the amount as per section 4 of the RBI Act. 1934, this is the static amount, 5 crore. If a question comes, what is the capital of RBI as per the balance sheet? 5 crore, itani hi rehti hai. Moving on, reserve fund ki baat karte hai. Reserve fund, initially ye bhi 5 crore se start hua tha. Going forward, 6400, I think 90 crore, it was extended. And 1990s ke baad, this amount was extended to 6500 crore. Reserve fund. Reserve fund. Theke. Talking about other reserves, ye hai 238 crore. 238 crore. Now the question comes ki kya ye amount important hai? See, the amount of capital is very important and you have to know what all comes in other reserves. Other reserves mein do cheeze aati hai. One is 
infrastructure fund and then we have fund for housing sector right infrastructure fund mein hai 32 crore and in housing fund we have 206 crore right the total comes to 238 crore theek hai this uh, housing fund the second part housing fund this is utilized the money in this fund is utilized towards nhb national housing bank theek hai then comes deposits very important you cannot remember the amount of deposits however what all is there in deposits deposits mein kya kya aata hai banks ke deposits government ke deposit any other deposits of any financial institutions theek hai these are all covered in deposits theek hai then talking about contingency fund we all know what is contingency fund a fund that is created for any uh, you know any 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 contingent uh, situation that might occur in future to agar koi aisi situation ek negative situation aa jati hai for that a contingency buffer or a contingency fund is created by any organization that is contingency fund amount aap nahi aap rakh sakte har ek head ka amount yaad karna bahut important hai however you have to remember what is the capital of rbi theek hai uske ilawa what all do we have revaluation accounts revaluation accounts mein what has been uh, you know the currency is revalued when gold is revalued investments are revalued that is maintained in the revaluation accounts other liabilities mein we have liability of the issue, uh, issue department so one is banking department and one is issue department RBI mein do departments ki liability hai banking department issue department liability of the issue department contains notes issued very important what is there in the liability of the issue department the notes that are issued talking about the assets now why is notes rupee point small coin there in the assets why is it not there in the liability yahan pe kyun nahi hai reason is this notes it contains rupee 1 note these coins they are issued by the government of india however rbi inko distribute karta hai they are circulated through the rbi however issued by the government of india that is why it is not a liability for the rbi we have discussed this before static mein bhi aapne ye padha ho other assets gold gold ke baad likha hai bd this bd means banking department ठीक है गोल्ड इज ऑल्सो मेंटेन बाय द इशू डिपार्टमेंट व्हाई इज इट मेंटेन बाय द इशू डिपार्टमेंट व्हाई इज इट बाइफकेटेड द रीजन इज इशू डिपार्टमेंट इशूज करेंसी एंड फॉर इशूइंग करेंसी इट नीड्स टू हैव एसेट्स टू बैक दो करेंसीज दैट इट इज इशूइंग किसी इकोनॉमी में आप करेंसी इशू कर रहे हो यू हैव टू हैव एसेट्स एज अ बैकिंग आपको एक एसेट्स को जो करेंसी इशू करी है यू हैव टू बैक द करेंसी विद एनी एसेट सो दिस इज दीज आर द assets for issue department that is gold rupee coin investments both foreign and domestic similarly when we talk about the banking department ke assets we have gold investment foreign investments and domestic investments theek hai investments in securities government securities foreign government securities mein investments kari hai that will be the assets of rbi theek hai then up the thing is do you have to remember the amounts it is very impossible to uh, remember all the amounts however heads aapko yaad karne bahut zaruri hai so for example investments foreign investments of the banking department will it be an asset or a liability it will be an asset theek hai then issue department ke liye gold jo hai wo liability hai ya asset hai it is an asset or it is given in a, as an asset theek hai bills purchase discounted is sal kuch nahi hue the so it is zero loans and advances these loans and advances include any loans or advances given to the government given to any bank so ye loans and advances bhi rbi ke assets hain investments in subsidiaries or other assets theek hai these are the assets and the liabilities we have discussed this in detail coming to the income statement again important sabse pehle aata hai interest income income statement mein we initially talk about the incomes and then expenditure आई होप आप सब लोगों को बैलेंस शीट और इनकम स्टेटमेंट के बारे में पता होगा बिकॉज नाउ इट इज इंक्लूडेड इन योर फाइनेंस टॉपिक सिलेबस ठीक है सो सब कॉमर्स या नॉन कॉमर्स बैकग्राउंड फर्क नहीं पड़ता नाउ यू हैव टू नो अबाउट वॉट इज बैलेंस शीट वॉट इज इनकम स्टेटमेंट वॉट ऑल इज देयर इन द इनकम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ आर बी आई इतना तो पता होना चाहिए ठीक है 
when we talk about income sabse pehle there is interest income and other income so the income is divided between interest income and other income इंटरेस्ट इनकम में क्या आ जाएगा अगर आरबीआई ने कोई लोन दिया हुआ है उस पर इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है रेपो ऑपरेशन पे इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है दैट ऑल इज इंक्लूडेड इन इंटरेस्ट इनकम ऑफ द आरबीआई ठीक है सिक्योरिटीज पे इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है इन्वेस्टमेंट पे इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है देन अदर इनकम दिस इंक्लूड एनी इनकम दैट आरबीआई यू नो आरबीआई परफॉर्म वेरियस फंक्शन फॉर फॉर गवर्नमेंट राइट सो जो कमीशन आरबीआई रिसीव करता है कमीशन so these are certain examples of other income the commission which rbi receive uh, receives uh, when it uh, you know performs various functions for the government then expenditure ye important hai kon kon se expenditure hai rbi ke printing of notes agency charges employee cost very important interest expense and uh, the miscellaneous expenditure jo ye hai printing stationery rent insurance etc okay then we move forward to the uh, actual income and what has been the dividend transfer we all know we have discussed in one of the recent videos only the dividend that was transferred by the rbi to the government was 87416.2 crore very important data from your exam point of view zarur question aa sakta hai not just this but a question can be asked on what basis this is calculated so the answer will be bill and jalan committee we read about this in the very uh, you know one of the very recent videos uh, about the bill and jalan committee on economic capital framework theek hai jinme jisme they said that 5.5 to 6.5% of buffer of the balance sheet is to be maintained by the rbi and any excess of this will be transferred to the government in the form of a dividend or surplus theek hai so the dividend transfer is 87416.2 crore to the center theek hai the buffer maintained this was also mentioned by the rbi very recently the buffer maintained is 6% so 5.5 to 6.5 ka buffer maintain karna hota hai of the balance sheet amount and the buffer maintained was 6% this is also important can be asked in your exam up now this first topics first uh, you know the first chapter here in my notes this includes miscellaneous things this will give you a snapshot of whatever is included in the entire you know these six pages that we are going to discuss going forward to so, policy rates kaise bade hain rbi ke we'll see that uh jisme basically sabse pehle rbi talks about inflation why has inflation been increasing and what has rbi done to target this inflation monetary policy committee ke kya kya stances rahe hain that has been discussed by the rbi and overall majorly RBI ने अभी तक 2.5 परसेंटेज पॉइंट या फिर 250 बेसिस पॉइंट से अपने रेट्स इंक्रीज करे हैं दिस इज दूमुलेटिव रेट हाइक क्यूमुलेटिव रेट हाइक वेन यू कंपेयर फ्रॉम 2022 ट्वेंटी टू में टू फेबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ठीक है दैट इज द क्यूमुलेटिव रेट हाइक ओके नाउ NPS NPS reduce हुए हैं which is the very good thing from 15.5 percent in 2018-19 to 5.8 percent in December quarter. The quarter ending December 2022 it was 5.8 percent very good news. ठीक है then FDIs FDIs we all know this year काफी कम हुई है FDI there has been a dip of 22 percent in FDIs foreign direct investment and the FDIs 46 billion dollars in 2022 2023 according to provisional estimates of the RBI annual report theek hai this is also important ab aapka exam hai i'm sure you all must be giving mocks and this data you might have you know studied already pib bhi mein bhi padha chuke padha chuke hain sir aapko about the fdi then talking about currency note and circulation isko hum detail mein bhi padhenge but quickly dekh lete hain what has been the increase in Uh, currency notes in circulation so the increase has been 7.8% say 4 yes 4.4% when it comes to value the increase has been 7.4 and when it comes to the volume kitne number of notes hai ya jo uh, volume hai the amount that is 4.4% the value increases 7.8% that is the currency in circulation this data is important because very recently RBI, you know, it decided to withdraw the 2000 rupee denominated currency note. So, ये data important हो जाता है. A question can be asked as per the RBI annual report. What is the increase in volume and value terms when it comes to currency in circulation? ठीक है. 500 के note सबसे ज़्यादा है. 
9%. 500 denominated notes is the highest. That is 37.9%. Followed by 10 rupee denominated notes. That is 19.2%. These two data are important. है. Okay, then about CBDC. Like I said, a quick snapshot. We are just going to talk about, uh, you know, very quickly what are the steps that were taken by the RBI or uh, you know, the basics of the structure, which includes FDI, wo humne padh liya. NPAs, kaise hue hai, uh, currency in circulation. Now, uh, CBDC. CBDC pilot project mein launch hua tha in wholesale as well as in retail. In wholesale, November mein, November 2022 mein, and in retail, December 2022 mein. Okay? E-rupee ke form mein, E-rupee retail in circulation. Initially, four cities mein hua tha in four banks and further it was extended by four other banks as well. Okay, let's get started with the first chapter that talks about the assessment and prospects. So, the, uh, the annual report is divided in two parts. The first part is about the economy, which will give you a quick snapshot of the economy, what has been the growth, what has been the fiscal deficit of the government and everything about not just the domestic economy, but the global economy as well. Okay, so domestic economy ki growth kya rahi hai as per the RBI annual report, ye yaad rakhna hai because the, abhi recently jo data aya hai, this says that the growth has been 7.2%. Just 4-5 days ago, this was the data that growth has been 7.2%. However, as per RBI's annual report, it is 7%. The growth has been 7%. Talking about GVA, gross value added. I hope you all know what is GVA. ESI mein padhaya jata hai. Gross value added. Wherein in every sector, the value addition that has been there, that is included and gross value added is, uh, you know, come together. Uh, GVA in agriculture sector has been 3.3% growth. The growth in the GVA of the agriculture sector, 3.3%. Again, as per the RBI annual report. These two data are very important. Talking about inflation, again, important data exam mein poot sakte hai. To do data important hai ki peak kya, kya gaya tha, kab gaya tha and overall kya inflation data raha hai. So we all know during COVID, RBI followed the expansionary monetary policy. Thik hai, accommodative stance RBI was following. However, after the Russia-Ukraine war, jab 2020 to 2020, just a second, 2020 to initial 2022, RBI was following accommodative monetary policy or expansionary monetary policy just my rates reduced kar rahi thi, right then after the russia ukraine war because inflation increased because of supply chain bottlenecks and uh, you know import cost increasing therefore the uh, the inflation increased and rbi started following the a withdrawal of the accommodation that it gave during the COVID time. Itna hum sabko pata hai, we have been discussing this in all the videos of rbi 247 sessions to ab inflation kya rahi hai the peak that has been there is 7.8% in the month of April 2022. However, overall inflation ki baat kari jai, overall inflation has been 6.7%. So, the overall inflation increase, the headline inflation increases 6.7%. Is this data important? Yes. Why? Because it breaches the MPC target of inflation. What is the MPC target of inflation? It is 2, uh, 4 plus minus 2, which is 2 to 6%. And the, uh, the headline inflation increase was 6.7%. That is why this data is important. Okay. Now, because of this, what happened? Sabse pehle to SDF, jo LAF corridor, tha, that was increased. The LAF corridor, the LAF corridor was increased. And along with that, total cumulative 250 basis point ka repo increase kara hai monetary policy ne. That is the cumulative rate increase from 2022 to abhitak 2023. Okay. Then let's talk about the government, fiscal deficit of the government. Okay. Then the fiscal deficit of the government declined from 6.75% of the GDP to now it is 6.45%. A very good Thing for the economy. Also, please let me know. Uh, I hope you all know about this. This was discussed in the budget as well as in the PIB session that what is the target of the fiscal deficit for the next year as well as for 2025. So, please mention what is the target of fiscal deficit of the government. Okay. Now, a new data data which is the revenue expenditure to capital outlay ratio. The RBI, as per the RBI report, this ratio has improved. What does this ratio mean? Revenue expenditure to 
कैपिटल आउटले दिस हैज इंप्रूव वेन दे टॉक्ड अबाउट इंप्रूव दे आर सेंग की सिक्स परसेंट से इट इज फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट प्लीज फोकस ऑन दिस डेटा सिक्स परसेंट से इट इज नाउ फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट ओके द थिंग इज रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर जब आप टारगेट करते हैं यू गवर्नमेंट टारगेट टू रिड्यूस द रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर एंड इंक्रीज द कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर जब आप एक रोड बनाएंगे आप इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बनाएंगे दैट इज कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर इन द इकोनॉमी इट विल हैव रिपल इफेक्ट इट विल डिक्रीज योर लॉजिस्टिक्स कॉस्ट नॉट जस्ट दैट बट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट डिक्रीज होगी जिसमें कंज्यूमर को वो जो भी प्रोडक्ट है दिस विल इट विल बी अवेलेबल एट अ रिड्यूस्ड प्राइस राइट सो मोर ओवर डिमांड इंक्रीज होगी जो भी प्रोडक्ट्स हैं उनकी बिकॉज ऑफ डिक्रीज लॉजिस्टिक्स कॉस्ट एज वेल एज सॉरी एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन ऑफ द इकोनॉमी वेन इट कम्स टू कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर सो द फोकस ऑफ एवरी गवर्नमेंट इज टूवर्ड्स मोर टूवर्ड्स कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर कैपिटल आउटले एंड दे वॉन्ट की रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर जो है वो लिमिटेड रहे या कम हो दैट इज द फोकस ऑफ एवरी गवर्नमेंट एवरी ईयर Now, when uh, this annual report talks about RICO, that is revenue expenditure to capital outlay, this ratio has improved from six percent, from six percent to five point six percent. Talking about the state government, the state government ka fiscal deficit that was budgeted by the state government, the budgeted fiscal deficit was three point four percent. So, ab RBI expect kar rahi hai the fiscal deficit will be with will remain within the limit of. 3% ठीक है द टारगेट वाज 3.4% ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मर्चेंडाइज ट्रेड अगेन ये डेटा भी अभी रिसेंटली रिलीज हुआ था एज पर द आरबीआई रिपोर्ट इट इज 450 बिलियन व्हाट द मर्चेंडाइज एक्सपोर्ट्स इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा है एग्जाम में डेफिनेटली फेज 1 में तो दे कैन आस्क यू व्हाट इज द मर्चेंडाइज एक्सपोर्ट्स इन 2022 2023 ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड सो इट इज 450.4 बिलियन डॉलर्स ओके and it is an increase of 6.7% over the previous amount ab ek aur point hai india became a net ex, uh, from being a net importer it became a net exporter actual sab mein hua hai this is talked about uh, when it comes to certain products such as mobile phones or certain it products mobile phones and toys so india uh, used to be a net exporter and now it is uh, sorry net importer and now it has become a net exporter so india has transition from being a net importer to net exporter and uh, this is majorly because of the policies of the government we are making in india or atmanirbhar bharat or creating structures or infrastructure when it comes to the manufacturing sector in india promoting the manufacturing sector in india okay then crude import mein kya sabse bada change aaya hai so because of the russia ukraine war india had to change or shift its uh, source of crude oil import and this was towards russia so india move when it comes to crude import india move towards russia and russia's share russia's share in the total import increased to 19% from 2% pehle total share tha russia ka 2% and it increased to 19% an important data this can also be asked in your exam now quickly let us discuss what are the steps taken by the rbi this we will also discuss in detail kyunki puri annual report mein detail mein discussion hui hai but we'll quickly understand in this chapter itself theek hai sabse pehle during the year the asset reconstruction uh, uh, company ki framework mein changes lay gaye the guidelines change hui thi especially when it comes to corporate governance when it comes to their compliance these were uh, changes were brought in then again prudential norms corporate governance transparency increase hui thi that was the framework broad framework brought out by rbi when it comes to subtech that is supervisor supervision using technology supervision using technology daksh introduce kara gaya tha that is reserves banks advice supervisory uh, advanced supervisory monetary monitoring system it introduced in october 6 right this was to improve the compliance mechanism compliance mechanism of various banks through this supervision was done by the rbi using this digital platform that is the ducks platform so it was for supervision of the banking structure and to make sure they are complying with the various prudential norms theek okay. hai then area of uh, corporate uh, cooperative banks ye humne bahut baar padha hai urban cooperative banks ka structure change hua hai now they are following a four tier structure a four tier structure is followed then yes to commemorate the 75 years of independence 
बनाने की बात हुई थी एंड एज ऑन मार्च थर्टी वन देर वर एट्टी फोर डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट डी बी यूज इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा इट कैन बी आस्ट इन योर एग्जाम फेज वन में तो डेफिनेटली दे कैन आस्क यू ओके देन CBDC we have already discussed pilot project launch hua tha initially wholesale ka then also retail ka initially it was for just few banks and few cities and then it was expanded going further in the next year this is the target of RBI to increase CBDC right CBDC expand karenge the reach of CBDC will be expanded and it will work towards this CBDC segment in both the segments that is wholesale and retail theek hai digital payments mein kya increase hua hai digital payment have recorded a growth of 57.8% again important data 57.8% ka growth hai in terms of volume and when it comes to value the growth is 19.2% 19.2% growth in value volume mein kitna hai 57.8% okay previous year ki growth hai but generally aap sirf is year ki yaad karke jayenge that will also be enough important data hai this can be asked in your exam again the question will be formed you know uh, in a, in such a way as per the rbi's annual report what is the growth theek hai upi ki baat hum bahut baar kar chuke hain we uh, keep talking about upi uh, in regular sessions upi the uh, usage of upi is increased the acceptance of upi is increased and upi is now also extended to nris non resident individuals okay the linking of upi with pay now of singapore this we also discussed remittances are easy ho jayengi using upi remittances will be easy especially abhi पायलट में इनिशियली सिंगापुर से हुआ है एंड गोइंग फॉरवर्ड विद अदर कंट्रीज विल इट विल आल्सो हैपन टॉक्स आर गोइंग ऑन विद रशिया द मीर पेमेंट सिस्टम द मीर कार्ड पेमेंट सिस्टम इन रशिया विल बी लिंक्ड विद यूपीआई ऑफ इंडिया दीस कॉन्वर्सेशन आर आल्सो गोइंग ऑन एंड सिंगापुर के साथ तो हो ही चुका है देन बीबीपीएस का स्कोप भी एक्सपैंड हुआ था द एनआरआईस दे कैन you know remit money or they can make payment through the bbps if they want to make any pay, uh, bill payments in india they can make through the bbps bharat bill payment system okay then what is the prospect of 23 24 yahan pe thodi budget ki baat hui gayi hai initially in the union budget the capital expenditure has been increased by 37.4% please let me know what is the target of capital expenditure कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर का क्या टारगेट है नाउ देर आर टू थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू मेंशन अभी तक इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू नो क्योंकि आप मॉक्स आई एम श्योर आप मॉक्स दे रहे होंगे सो फर्स्ट इज द फिजिकल डेफिसिट टारगेट एंड द सेकंड इज द कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर बजटेड कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर एज पर द यूनियन बजट सो इंक्रीज्ड बाय 37.4% एंड रेलवे को सबसे ज्यादा मिला है कैपिटल आउटले टुवर्ड्स रेलवे इज 2.7 सॉरी 2.4 लाख करोड़ ठीक है then yes allocation of interest free loans this has also enhanced to 1.3 lakh crore itna interest free loans to states will be given from earlier 1.1 uh, lakh crore these two data are also important then food grains ka kya target hai the target for the year 23 24 uh, is 332 million ton again important this is more 0.4% more than the third advance estimate The third advance estimates of the previous year, जो अभी recently आए हैं उससे 0.4 percent ज़्यादा है. That is 332 million ton. Again, it can be asked in your phase one exam. Then, ये हम discuss कर चुके हैं. RBI will work towards CBDC retail and will expand the CBDC retail and wholesale also. ठीक है. Check truncation system. We have discussed this in our videos. Check truncation system. Uh, NPCI uh, का ही एक product है. This works towards uh, you know uh, clicking pictures of micr and now physical transfer of checks will not take place digitally through image capturing of the checks information can be exchanged payments can be made through check truncation system ye pehle initially three regional grids pe tha now the government kyunki last uh, kuch saal pehle hi the government brought up one nation one grid frequency campaign then uh, so now under this the check truncation system will migrate from only three regional grids matlab in three regional grids mein kaam kar raha hai it will work or be expanded towards one nation one grid system theek hai 
क्रॉस बॉर्डर पेमेंट्स एनहांस करेंगे यूपीआई पे नाउ लिंकेज जो अभी हुआ है एंड अदर पेमेंट लिंकेजेस विल बी मेड दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड देन टॉकिंग अबाउट नेशनल स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन इसकी हम डिटेल में आगे बात करेंगे uh, जिसमें सेंटर फॉर द रीच ऑफ सी एफ एल सेंटर्स फॉर फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी टूवर्ड्स एवरी ब्लॉक दैट इज द टारगेट ऑफ आर बी आई बाय मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सी एफ एल फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी एवरी ब्लॉक इन द कंट्री बाय मार्च 2024 अब ये होता क्या है सी आरबीआई हैज टू स्ट्रेटजीज वन फॉर नेशनल स्ट्रेटजी फॉर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन द अदर इज नेशनल स्ट्रेटजी फॉर फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन ठीक है नेशनल स्ट्रेटजी फॉर फाइनेंशियल ये सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द माइल स्टोन ऑफ द नेशनल स्ट्रेटजी फॉर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन जिसमें आता है सेंटर्स फॉर फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी सेंटर फॉर फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी दे work towards providing financial literacy on a community based approach community based approach pe ye work karte hain their target was initially to create 100 uh, you know cfl that is center for financial literacy in 100 blocks initially 100 blocks pe kar, cover karne ka target tha but it was supposed to be extended to each and every block in the country and that is the target till march 2024 okay and uh using various uh, artificial intelligence technology machine learning you know payments will be made banks ki working enhance kari jayegi using all these mechanisms using it structure then then we have economic review jisme hum uh, gdp ki baat karenge thodi detail mein yes this is data from nso given in the rbi annual report this data talks about the gdp that is the growth rate gdp growth rate so it has been 7% the gdp growth rate has been 7% and we talk about the total consumption expenditure which includes both private ex, uh, private consumption and government consumption expenditure 6.4% growth and the total growth ye do data aapko yaad rakhne hain that is 7% of previous year 20 uh, 22 23 that is the data as per nso okay then we talk about gva growth especially in the agriculture sector because this has been the fo focus uh, in this report gva ka growth has been 3.3% and the total gva growth that is gva at basic prices gva is gross value added this has been 6.6% overall gva at basic prices the growth has been 6.6% when it comes to the agriculture sector it is 3.3% industry sector ka 1.7% and services ka sabse zyada hai 9.3% Yes. Okay. So, जो डेटा आपको याद करना था आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू टू रिमेम्बर ऑल दिस डेटा और लर्न और मेमोराइज दिस टॉकिंग अबाउट रिजर्व मनी थोड़ी सी उसकी बात कर लेते हैं ओके सबसे पहले एम एस ई का क्या एम एस एम ईज दैट इज माइक्रो स्मॉल मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस यू हैव टू लर्न देर डेफिनेशन वॉट इज देयर यू नो इन्वेस्टमेंट क्राइटेरिया इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड प्लान एंड मशीनरी वट इज द टर्न ओवर ये पूरा क्राइटेरिया आपको याद करना है इन all these this has been asked in your exam previously as well do not forget to remember this or learn this talking about msme msme segment ka contribution kya raha hai it was 29% of india's gdp so the msme sector's contribution was 29% in the gdp as per the annual report again an important data talking about reserve money reserve money ki baat karte hain we have studied about m0 that is base money or high powered money bhi isko bolte hain this includes three things currency in circulation bankers deposits with the rbi and other deposits with the rbi currency in circulation humko pata hai whatever the currency is both in terms of value and volume in circulation currently then bankers deposits with the rbi banks jo hai they deposit with the rbi let's say in the form of crr also banks have to maintain deposit with the rbi crr maintain karna hota hai and other deposits are also maintained by banks then we have other deposits these deposits are let's say from other financial institutes which includes pds primary dealers then governments ke deposits with the rbi or any other external financial institution maintaining any deposits with the rbi that forms part of reserve money so kya kya components hai cic currency in circulation bankers deposits and uh, deposits of other deposits with the rbi now there has been growth in the reserve money but the growth has not been as much as the previous year so previous year ki growth thi 12% ki 12% that was the growth 
so the growth has decelerated to 10% previous year this growth was 12% this growth has decelerated to 10% now what is the growth 7.5% as compared to 7.3% a year ago now the thing is uh, here the rbi wants to say that kyunki reserve money mein itni zyada growth nahi hui hai that means ki reserve money uh, ka jo uh, growth hui hai that is not one of the factors for increase in inflation so which indicates that the excessive base money that is the reserve money was not a causative factor for increase or for uh, the factor behind the increase in inflation theek hai now there was a discussion about currency demand paradox in india what is this currency demand paradox in india now uh, the thing is this talks about the increase in value of notes in circulation increase in value of notes in the circulation here we are talking about notes please have a look at the notes so the value of notes in circulation is increasing even though there is an increase in digital transactions to ab digital transactions bhi badh rahi hai uske bawajood bhi in spite of that see upi led retail digital payments have grown in a compounded uh, compounded annual growth rate of 50% And 27% in terms of volume and value. वो हटाते हैं सबसे पहले यूपीआई की बात करते हैं तो यूपीआई में ग्रोथ हुई है यूपीआई पेमेंट्स हैव इंक्रीज एंड डिजिटल ट्रांजेक्शन हैव इंक्रीज डिजिटल पेमेंट्स हैव इंक्रीज इवन देन देर इज डिमांड फॉर करेंसी नोट द वैल्यू ऑफ करेंसी नोट हैज इंक्रीज दिस इज करेंसी डिमांड पैराडॉक्स टॉक अबाउट बाई दी आर बी आई अब इंडिया में uh, और जनरली दिस करेंसी डिमांड पैराडॉक्स का क्या रीजन होता है सो फोर रीजन आर गिवन बाई दी आर बी आई the first one is decline in the opportunity cost decline in the opportunity cost of holding currency when somebody wants to hold a currency there is an opportunity cost what is this opportunity cost ki agar hum isko bank mein lagate we would have gained interest so the interest rate becomes the opportunity cost so this opportunity cost has decreased that is the interest rates have decreased this is one of the reason for holding currencies and one of the reasons for increase in the value of notes in circulation then again uh, the second reason is precautionary the second reason is precautionary holdings in times of uncertainty when there is uncertainty consumers would want to hold their currency that they have the notes with them and uh, presence of a large informal economy अब इनफॉर्मल इकोनॉमी जब होती है विच मीन फॉर्मल सेक्टर इतना ज्यादा डेवलप नहीं है जिसकी वजह से भी होल्डिंग ऑफ करेंसी कैन टेक प्लेस एट द सेम टाइम डीबीटी जो डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर्स होते हैं बाय द गवर्नमेंट टू डायरेक्टली द बैंक अकाउंट ऑफ दीज यू नो दी स्मॉल सेक्टर और इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर इकोनॉमी और दी अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर राइट देर इज डीबीटी ट्रांसफर विच ऑल्सो एड्स टू दिस करेंसी डिमांड पैराडॉक तो फोर फैक्टर्स की बात हुई है जनरल आइडिया मैंने आपको दे दिया है so covid 19 pandemic also intensifies intensified this currency demand paradox theek hai corporate debt market ki baat karte hain what has been the bond issuance increase so has there been an issue, uh, increase in the bond issuance when it comes to corporate bonds yes they have increased to 7.6 lakh crore during 2022 23 from previous year 6 lakh crore that was the amount of corporate bonds issued theek hai और सबसे ज्यादा प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट्स प्रेफर करते हैं द कॉर्पोरेट्स द कंपनीज हैव प्रेफर्ड प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट्स देन ट्रेड डेफिसिट एंड एफडीआई वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस द ट्रेड डेफिसिट यस व्हेन इट कम्स टू इंपोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट द ट्रेड डेफिसिट हैज बीन 263.6 बिलियन डॉलर्स इन 2022 2023 व्हिच इज 38% हायर देन द प्रीवियस ईयर अगेन एन इंपोर्टेंट डेटा इट कैन बी आस्क्ड इन योर एग्जाम I hope you all know what is trade deficit. जब हम uh, export ज़्यादा नहीं कर रहे हैं, we are importing more. Then it creates a situation of deficit. When it comes to FDI, what are the highest sources of FDI? It is Singapore, Mauritius, US, UAE, and Netherlands. इसके अलावा भी जो भी important data है, you have to remember. It is covered in your uh, PIB section regularly. The data of FDI. ट्रेड डेफिसिट का डेटा मर्चेंडाइज एक्सपोर्ट्स कितने हुए हैं रिसेंटली बहुत ज्यादा न्यूज में है सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इट इट कैन बी आस्ट इन योर एग्जाम हाउ एवर एनुअल रिपोर्ट में ब्रॉडली दीज वर द डिस्कशंस टेकिंग प्लेस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट चैप्टर थ्री व्हिच इज इंक्लूडेड इन द पार्ट टू द पार्ट टू टॉक्स अबाउट द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ आरबीआई आरबीआई ने किस फंक्शन में किस डिपार्टमेंट में क्या क्या काम करा है एंड वॉट इज द एजेंडा फॉर फ्यूचर सो द वर्किंग एंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन ऑफ दी आरबीआई सबसे पहले 
we have monetary policy operations chapter 3 okay here sabse pehle baat hui two black swan events what are these two black swan events when we talk about a black swan event see it is a metaphor ki black swan ko dekhna kitni badi baat hoti hai which means these are events which are unexpected but they can have an adverse ripple effect in the economy koi aisa event ho gaya which was not expected for example covid 19 pandemic and the effect was not a positive effect it was an adverse effect and unexpected adverse effect these are the two black swan events that are talked about the first one is the covid 19 pandemic and the second one was the russia ukraine war is cheez ki baat already rbi governor ne apni bahut sari speeches mein uh, bola hai about these two black swan events and the fact that these two black swan events took place consecutively unme koi gap nahi tha it's not like ek decade mein dusra hua and dusre decade mein dusra hua which earlier took place jab earlier debt crisis ho rahe the ya global financial crisis hua that was the uh, thing there was a gap for the economy to grow back or to bounce back this time these two black swan events took place consecutively and there was not enough time for the economy to bounce back okay so the two black swan events that is the pandemic and the russia ukraine war because of this bahut zyada inflation badi hai economy mein and dusra kya effect aaya hai bahut bada effect that has been a depreciation in rupee jiski wajah se rbi had to dip in its forex reserves so rbi had to dip in its forex reserve because of depreciation of rupee and what happened because of inflationary pressures inflationary pressures due to uh, you know supply chain bottlenecks inflationary pressure ki wajah se rbi had to look forward to uh, you know withdrawal of the accommodation that it had done or uh, contractionary monetary policy jisko hum bol sakte hain wherein the rate of interest were constantly increased cumulatively 250 basis points se this can also be asked in your exam theek hai then the question uh, the thing is जब मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी टाइटनिंग की बात होती है मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी टाइटनिंग इज नॉट जस्ट डन विद द रेपो रेट बट आल्सो देर आर अदर पैरामीटर्स एज वेल वन ऑफ द पैरामीटर्स इज सी आर आर कैश रिजर्व रेशो जो कैश मेंटेन करना पड़ता है बैंक्स को द सी आर आर दैट इज मेंटेन बाय द बैंक्स सो जब कोविड का टाइम था जब एक्सपेंशनरी मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी थी सो नॉट जस्ट द रेपो रेट्स वर डिक्रीज नॉट जस्ट द एच डी एफ वॉज इंक्रीज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड नॉट जस्ट द गैप ऑफ LAF was increased by 40 basis point but also CRR was also reduced by 100 basis point CRR was also reduced by 100 basis point uske ilawa the RBI also wanted forex flows into india foreign exchange flows and q if you remember because there was a depreciation in rupee there was fdi outflow jo foreign direct investment india mein thi they were converted into foreign direct out uh, outflow of the fdi that was there now what started happening was uh, because of this because of this outflow rupee got depreciated rbi had to dip in its forex reserves so rbi took certain steps one of the steps was these steps were towards forex inflows taki forex flows aaye one of the steps was relaxation to foreign depositors relaxation to forwards foreign depositors so rbi tweaked the requirement for uh, non resident deposits non resident deposits do deposits ki baat hui hai for example rbi is talking about uh, here the foreign currency non resident bank accounts or depositors fc nrp these are fixed deposits maintained by nri in foreign currency in india and we have non resident external nre external uh yes non resident external account which is just like a saving bank account maintained by the nri in foreign currency and this the money in this is freely repatriable they can take back this money back to their economy it is freely repatriable so this is nre non resident external account fc nr account in dono ke rules mein kuch changes aaye the and the maintenance for crr under this what happened was uh, so rbi tweak the requirements of a uh, uh, non resident account non resident fc nr account and the nre account deposits for maintenance of CRR in pe jo in deposits pe jo jo incremental deposits ho rahe the after a reference point jo incremental deposits ho rahe hain on that the maintenance of CRR was reduced relaxation was given relaxation was given uh, on CRR maintenance of CRR on the increment of these uh, deposit amount incremental FCNR 
and NRE accounts. Theek hai. What are the key measure initiatives or measures or initiatives taken by the RBI towards this monetary policy structure? Abhi hum monetary policy ki baat kar rahe hain. So, sabse pehle we talked about SDF introduced hua which replaced the FRR. Fixed rate reserve, fixed reserve rate. Sorry, reverse rate, fixed reverse repo rate. SDF was introduced. We know what is SDF. Under this, it actually works like the reverse repo rate. Reverse repo me kya hota hai? Banks can park their excess money to the RBI. RBI in turn gives collateral to banks along with interest. That is reverse repo mechanism. However, SDF me. RBI uh, did not have to do not have to give any collateral. That is the difference between SDF and uh, reverse repo rate, right? So SDF replaced the fixed reverse repo rate. This does not mean that FRR jo hai, wo band ho gaya hai. It is now, however, fixed. It is not, you know, it is not moving along with the LAF. Jiske baad LAF corridor mein bhi changes aaye the. To LAF mein initially there used to be reverse rate and repo rate and MSF, which was above the repo rate. Now it was replaced by SDF, reverse rate, sorry, repo rate in the middle and MSF at the ceiling rate. That is the penal rate, MSF. Okay? So the marginal standing facility was retained as 25 basis point above the policy repo rate, SDF below the policy repo rate and the FRR was fixed. FRR ko fixed rakha gaya tha. And further LAF uh, corridor ko Pehle asymmetric kara gaya tha beech mein during COVID-19 it was uh, you know the, the corridor was increased and further isko dobara symmetric kar diya tha. That is the 25 basis point balance uh, on both the side. Jis mein beech mein uh, repo hai and on the flow rate is SDF and on the ceiling rate is MSF. Thik. However this does not mean that FRR is now replaced completely. FRR actually remains still remains a part of the RBI's toolkit and it, it remains, it is supposed to be used on RBI's discretion. Uske ilawa jo SDF hai ya jo OMOs hote hai, see, OMOs that uh, is on, on the discretion of, yes, this OMOs are used on the discretion of RBI, right? RBI will decide when to, uh, when OMOs will uh, take place or rep operations will take place. However, SDF, however, SDF, just may banks can park their excess money to the RBI without having a collateral rate. This is on the discretion of banks. Another point, access of SDF is at the discretion of banks. However, OMOs, repos and these are at the discretion of the reserve banks. Okay, because first of all, there are collaterals involved. Hai. Collateral is involved in this and RBI is directly involved in this, right? When uh, OMOs are OMOs in that RBI is directly involved. Okay. Then this is the agenda for 23-24. Basic baat hui hai, nothing new. Uh, jo transmission hota hai, transmission of the lending rate, which is when the policy rates are changed by the RBI, that this in, uh, in turn brings a change in the lending rates of banks. That is transmission of the policy rate. Up this transition will be mapped on NBFCs also. With the NBFCs, they are important towards the, inter uh, the Indian financial structure. And recognizing that RBI plans or the monetary policy department of the RBI plans to strengthen the analysis of the transmission of the lending rates, especially when it comes to the NBFCs. Okay, then the ch chapter number four, again an important chapter, credit, delivery and financial inclusion, both important. When we talk about financial inclusion, we all know what is financial inclusion. To give access to various financial services to unserved and underserved uh, regions of the economy of the country and so that every person in India, the last man standing in the row can have access to financial services, chahi wo insurance service ho, chahi wo pension ho, banking ho, basic savings bank account banana ho, right? Towards this, the government has taken various steps, the RBI has taken various steps over the years. Sabse bada step, that is the national strategy of RBI towards financial inclusion that is NSFI 2019-2024 NSFI iske andar milestones banaye hain decide kare hain milestone RBI ne theek hai jiske andar CFL hum already pad chuke hain centers for financial literacy they will be working towards creating financial literacy and in a block level pe they will be working initially pilot basis pe 100 blocks pe they were uh, supposed to you know these uh, CFIs 
CFLs, sorry, Center for Financial Literacy, they were supposed to be created in 100 blocks, but to uh, further expand it to all blocks in India till March 24. And now already a lot of increase has We will have a look at this. Iske ilawa, kya kya implementation hua hai towards achieving these milestone of NSFI? Now this NSFI, this also talks about creating infrastructure. Infrastructure in tier 2 to tier 6 cities when it comes to providing digital financial services to every person, right? So infrastructure pe focus hai. To provide focuses on creating infrastructure to support the digital ecosystem and strengthening the inter-regulatory coordination of customer. Taki customer ki jo grievances hai, they can also be redressed in a systematic and efficient manner. Okay. Now, when digital financial inclusion ki baat aati hai, we have to remember PIDF, Payment Infrastructure Development Fund. We have already discussed this in detail. We have already discussed this because it is very important. Under this, the RBI along with the government plans to create point of sale mechanism, uh, mobile POS mechanism infrastructure towards digital payment structure. Okay, that was important. A fund was made. In this fund, banks have a contribution in this fund and RBI is also contributing in this fund. Around 350-345 crore ka fund. Tha, uh, yes, 345 crore ka fund. Tha, uh, PIDF, which is supposed to be working in cities, various cities towards creation of point of sale devices, infrastructure towards payment, uh, payment infrastructure. Right. Okay. Then, this In order to have technology driven financial inclusion and enabling framework for regulatory sandbox. This also we have also discussed bahut bar. Regulatory sandbox mechanism ke andar kya hota hai? Various entities, various, uh, various entities working towards digital financial structure, towards bringing pilot projects, innovative pilot projects can come up and have a live testing platform under this regulatory sandbox mechanism. Regulatory sandbox mechanism under RSM regulatory sandbox mechanism live testing kar sakte hai. So this actually facilitate the testing, live testing um, of various innovative products, providing various solutions towards various problems, jaise digital payment hai, payment to MSMEs hai. So these are the cohorts that were decided and under this, abhi hume detail mein padhenge what are the various cohorts, under this live testing platform is provided, under this regulatory sandbox mechanism to various entities. This also comes in financial inclusion. So, when financial inclusion ki baat aati hai, you will initially, if a question comes in phase 2, especially in descriptive towards financial inclusion, what are the steps taken by RBI, what are the steps taken by government or various banks, so you can talk about a lot of things. This is a kind of question that is a very question hone wala hai. and the good thing is that you will have many points honge if a question like this comes. If a question on financial inclusion is asked, you can write everything that you know uh, especially towards banking sector, RBI and government. So, for example, PSLA, Priority Sector Lending, it is working towards financial inclusion. NSFI hai, humne abhi pad liya, PIDF hai, Regulatory Sandbox Mechanism hai, ye sab financial inclusion ke towards they are working. Theek hai, scaling up of Center for Financial uh, Literacy, we have also dis uh, already discussed this. Uh, there is the National Strategy for Financial Education. Let's see, yahan kai hai. Okay, humne abhi abhi pada about the national strategy of financial inclusion. There is also a national strategy for financial education 2020 to 2025. Jisme, we have national center for financial education. These national center for financial education will work towards promotion of financial education to educate uh, every citizen about the financial services that are available to them. Now, financial inclusion kaise karenge? Jab aap educate karenge, aware karenge, right? Various funds in India are working towards CFL, Center for Financial Literacy, and also towards National Center for Financial Education. These centers for financial education, they will work towards seminars, bhoat sare create honge, workshops create karenge, seminar, workshops, campaigns that are, that will work towards financial education. Theek hai. So this strategy, National Strategy for Financial Education is based on five C's. Five C's pe hai, which includes capacity, community, uh, collaboration, commitment, or ek aur bhi hai. Con uh, capacity, commitment, collaboration, ek aur bhi C hai. Five C's. Con content, I think. Okay. So five C's pe work karegi National Center for Financial Education. Theek hai. So, 
Like I said, significant progress was made in the CFL Center for Financial Literacy. And initially, जो 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis, वो 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करना था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks में करna था on a pilot basis. It was 100 blocks
The number of operative KCCs were 2.282.96 lakh crore. A question on this has been asked in your NABAD exam previously. Ki KCC kya kya target tha and what has been the number of operative KCCs in India? Uh, as per the RBI report, it is 289.96 lakh crore. Then bank credit to the MSME sector year on oh, year on year. MSME sector ko kitna loan gaya hai that has increased to 14.2 percent. Important data you have to learn it. ठीक है फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन की बात करते हैं यस व्हेन इट कम्स टू फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन यू कैन आल्सो मेंशन लीड बैंक रिस्पांसिबिलिटी लीड बैंक स्कीम जो हमने पढ़ी थी एंड व्हाट इज द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ लीड बैंक्स अब लीड बैंक्स में क्या होता है एवरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट में वी नो देर इज अ लीड बैंक विच विल वर्क टूवर्ड्स फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन और इन दैट पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड दीज बैंक विल ऑल्सो हैंडल एंड ओवर सी द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ अदर बैंक दे विल है लीडरशिप रोल वेन इट कम्स टू अ पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट तो एक डिस्ट्रिक्ट में एक एरिया अप्रोच फॉलो होती है एरिया अप्रोच जिसमें एक एरिया में अ बैंक इज गिवन अ लीड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ अ लीडर ठीक है अब जो हमने फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन की स्ट्रेटेजी पढ़ी थी उसमें एक और चीज आती है दैट इज टू हैव दिस इज वन ऑफ एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द माई स्टोन ऑल्सो दैट इज टू हैव ऑपरेटिंग बैंकिंग यूनिट्स in a within uh, in every village within 5 km area so har village within their 5 km area banking access milna chahiye right so banking access to every village within 5 km area jisme aise bhi hamlets the jinme 500 households hain in heli in heli hilly areas that were also included this was the target under nsfi a major objective of nsfi right so every village to be included in the financial arena financial inclusion ko expand karne ke liye to expand the idea of financial inclusion every village should have banking access within 5 km area of that village so and the milestone was achieved 26 states mein full access hai every village ko within the 5 km area seven uts mein hai and going forward uh, aur bhi increase hoga and 99.96 percentage of the identified villages or Hamlets across the country were covered under this milestone or this objective. ठीक है. Then, then comes the digital. Then comes the uh, digitally enabled villages. So every, every, uh, every union territory banking bankers committee or state level bankers committee. So this also we discussed in the uh, lead bank scheme. state level bankers committee and ut level bankers committee they have the responsibility to identify villages which will be target towards creating 100 uh, districts not villages making districts that are 100% digitally enabled so that is the target they would endeavor to make the districts 100% digitally enabled and as per march 2023 march 31 2023 this has been at the achieved target 182 districts were 100% percent were identified and 87 districts jo in me se hai that is 182 me se 87 are 100% percent digitally enabled districts theek hai these were identified by the state level bankers committee important data hai uh, agar isme se koi direct question bhi nahi aata hai you can also mention this data in your descriptive answer theek hai because it is there is a high chance that a financial uh, question can be asked on financial inclusion ऑलरेडी इंग्लिश ऐसे में ये क्वेश्चन बहुत बार आया हुआ है बहुत एग्जाम्स में फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन के ऊपर क्या क्या काम हुआ है दिस हैज बिन द क्वेश्चन हैज बिन आस्ट इन इंग्लिश डिस्क्रिप्टिव हाउएवर नाउ इट कैन आल्सो बी आस्ट इन योर फाइनेंस और इवन इन द ईएसआई सेक्शन राइट सो सच डेटास यू कैन मेंशन इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर द डेटा स्पेशली ये वाला डेटा कि 182 डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स को आइडेंटिफाई करा गया था 87 डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स जो है 100% डिजिटली एनेबल्ड है टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन इंडेक्स दिस इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट Three parameters, 97 indicators, pay financial inclusion index बनता है, which maps the financial inclusion that is taking place. अब इंडिया में जो मार्च 2022 का डेटा है, this is 50 56.4. अब ये 56.4 क्या है? When we are talking about financial inclusion index, so it is zero to hundred map करा जाता है. Zero score है, इसका मतलब Complete financial exclusion and hundred hai it means complete financial inclusion, fully financial inclusion, right? So the score is fifty six point four as per March twenty twenty two. ठीक है. And this has also increased. The growth क्या हुई है four point six percent. Remember this. Three parameters क्या है? What are the three parameters? Also remember that access, 
usage and quality this is the parameter of financial inclusion index 97 indicators three parameters pe ye banta hai then yes uh, this we uh, when we are talking when we were talking about national strategy for financial education 2020 to 2025 we talked about ncfe national center for financial education national center for financial education inka kaam hai to create such campaigns to create such uh yes campaigns or seminars or workshops that will work towards financial education ek aur isme cheez aati hai to provide education in the school curriculum to include financial education ka sec, uh, section in the school curriculum jiske andar rbi ne they collaborated with ncrt ncfe is also following up with uh, ncfe is also following up with ncrt for integration of financial education in their curriculum theek hai so class 6 टेंथ के बच्चों को ये करिकुलर में इंक्लूड करा गया है एनसीएफई दैट इज नेशनल सेंटर फॉर फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन अलोंग विद अदर रेगुलेटर्स एंड सीबीडीसी सीबीएसई डेवलप्ड फाइव एजुकेशनल वर्कबुक्स फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स टू क्लास टेंथ अगेन एन इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर इंटरव्यू में बहुत क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं वेन इट कम्स टू फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी कंज्यूमर एजुकेशन यू नो ग्रीवियंस रिड्रेसल दीज आर द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दट आर आस्ट इन योर इंटरव्यू फेस राइट सो इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर दीज ऑल स्टेप इन वेरी गुड वेल एंड गुड बहुत अच्छी बात है अदरवाइज ऑब्जेक्टिव में भी ये क्वेश्चन आ सकता है वॉट इज एन सी एफ ई वॉट इज द स्ट्रैटेजी स्ट्रैटेजी का टारगेट क्या है माइल स्टोन क्या है सो हैव अ ब्रॉड आइडिया अबाउट दिस बिकॉज ये अभी एक साल का नहीं है दिस स्ट्रैटेजी स्टिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव National Strategy for Financial Education. So a question can be definitely asked in your exam. Okay, these are the amount of activities financial literacy centers have. How many activities conduct are they? Then uh, again, uh, we observed the Financial Literacy Week. Important data. When we observed it, February 13 to February 17. I'm sure you have studied the current affairs in the current affairs. What was the theme? Good financial behavior, your savior. That was the theme. Theme important hai and. the what was the purpose of this campaign what is the objective of this campaign when was this financial literacy week celebrated what was the theme these three things are very important then general agenda hai cfl ko remaining blocks mein banana hai that is the agenda cfl is center for financial literacy and uh, to work with in or in alignment with the g20 countries the g20 group ke sath in alignment with them theek hai then next chapter is chapter 5 financial market and foreign exchange management theek hai okay sabse pehle the department is interested with the development regulation surveillance of money government securities interest rate derivatives foreign exchange and credit deliver, uh, derivative markets theek hai forex management is one of the important functions of the rbi rbi maintains forex reserves on behalf of the government humne discuss kara hua hai forex reserves ke kya kya part hote hain If again you can mention in the comment section below, uh, you should कि क्या क्या पार्ट होते हैं फॉर एक्स रिजर्व के किसी भी जो सेंट्रल बैंक मेंटेन करता है देन लेट एस लुक एट द वॉट आर द की इनिशियटिव दट आर टेकन अंडर दिस डिपार्टमेंट फॉर एक्स डिपार्टमेंट और फॉर एक्स मार्केट रेगुलेशन डिपार्टमेंट ठीक है सबसे पहले देवर लॉट ऑफ अनऑथोराइज फॉरन एक्सचेंज ट्रेडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स कुछ ट्रेडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स को ऑथराइजेशन मिलती है बाय द आरबीआई दे कैन डील इन फॉरेन एक्सचेंज दे कैन डील विद इंडिविजुअल्स कंपनीज कॉर्पोरेट्स राइट ग्रुप्स व्हेन इट कम्स टू फॉरेन एक्सचेंज हाउएवर देयर वर अनऑथराइज्ड प्लेटफॉर्म्स अनऑथराइज्ड ट्रेडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स व्हिच आरबीआई ने क्या करा था दे क्रिएटेड एन अलर्ट लिस्ट पहले तो दे मेंशन व्हाट आर हु आर द ऑथराइज्ड डीलर्स एंड आल्सो एक अलर्ट लिस्ट निकाली थी ऑफ दीस अनऑथराइज्ड एंटिटीज फॉर greater awareness so ek alertness nikali thi uske alawa rbi is also working towards awareness campaign this is very important rbi kehta hai program uh, have a look at this ek bari just go through this bahut easy hai ek page mein cover ho jayega aapka what is this rbi kehta hai program again aap koi bhi descriptive answer likh rahe ho specially english agar uh, aap likh rahe ho essay if you are writing this one point can fetch you very high marks if you write about the awareness campaign of rbi which is rbi kehta hai theek hai so through this rbi is creating awareness ki aap unauthorized uh, trading platform se one of the things that is mentioned here is aap unauthorized trading platform se uh, bach ke rahiye and this is the alert list created be aware of this alert list theek hai then far this we also discussed pehle humne is pe baat kari hui hai far fully accessible route jo investors hote hain they invest in government securities teen routes inke paas available hote hain one of the route is 
fully accessible route jiske andar there is no ceiling limit they can invest in government securities in the medium term route right here we are talking about the medium term target medium term target or medium term route uh, jisme this is fully accessible route one of the routes available to nris when they invest in india right non resident investment in government securities so initially it was available for government securities for 5 year 10 year 30 year but last year it was extended to other government securities jisme aayega 7 year 14 year 10 or k government securities ye important data hai that is why i have mentioned this is already discussed in last year i think july mein discuss kara gaya tha ye when this change was created theek hai then sovereign green bonds bahut zyada news mein hai all uh, hamesha isko padh ke chahiye ga sir when you are giving your exam sovereign green bonds has been in news theek hai so now investment in sovereign green bonds for uh, nris is also included under this framework fully accessible route ke andar sovereign green bonds bhi included hai again this question can be asked in your exam far included hai ya nahi uh, sorry far mein sovereign green bonds included hai ya nahi yes they are included theek hai this we have already discussed significant benchmark change hua tha this year uh, libor that is london Inca london interbank offered rate co uh, you know secession create karne ki baat kari gayi hai towards various banks they have to secede from following the libor as a benchmark rate to uh, have other alternate reference rate right so other alternate reference rate a banks have to identify alternate reference rate arrs banks have to identify these arrs and libor will be succeeded will not be used anymore mifor also will not be published by fibil however mmfir was created as significant benchmark in december 22 mmfior that is modified mifor modified mifor right mumbai interbank offered rate forward offered rate theek hai this also we had discussed premium kya hota hai sofr kya hai we had already discussed in one of the previous videos here we are just talking about what are the steps taken by rbi when it comes to forex department theek hai then financial markets operations department isme kya kya baat hui hai the rbi conducted financial market regulation ki baat hui hai rbi has conducted both variable repo operations variable uh, reverse uh, rate repo operations and vrr that is variable repo operations just make fixed target nahi hota but variable basis pe repo operations bhi hote hain reverse repo operations bhi hote hain uh, there is uh, you know a window given to you for this variable reverse repo operations and this is done depending on the liquidity conditions this uh, is done by both by the rbi on uh, regular basis uh, time to time ye rbi karta rehta hai then then we talk about the uh, foreign exchange department and foreign exchange department mein what have been the key initiatives lrs liberalized remittance scheme bahut zyada news mein hai do not miss this rbi ne pure saal mein bahut baar LRS, lrs scheme ko discuss kara hai this is what is mentioned in the report a lot of times a comprehensive review of this scheme has been taken jo bhi isme changes lane hain that has been brought recently lrs ke under uh, you know आईएफसीए में जो इन्वेस्टमेंट हो रही है देर हैज बिन दैट वाज आल्सो इंक्लूडेड इन एलआरएस एंड आल्सो अ फ्यू अदर चेंजेस वर मेड इन एलआरएस ठीक है सो द एनुअल रिपोर्ट टॉक्स अबाउट दैट दिस एलआरएस दिस दिस स्कीम हैज बीन रिव्यूड फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम एंड चेंजेस हैव बीन ब्रॉट ठीक है बेस्ड ऑन द रिकमेंडेशंस अब एक रिकमेंडेशन थी रेगुलेशन रिव्यू अथॉरिटी की रेगुलेशन रिव्यू अथॉरिटी 2.0 इसके कुछ रेगुलेशंस थे जिसमें जब कोई मर्जर हो रहा है एक्विजिशन हो रहा है तो फिजिकल रिटर्न्स आपको देने पड़ते हैं दीज वर नाउ शिफ्टेड टुवर्ड्स ऑटोमेटेड राइट बेस्ड ऑन द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ रेगुलेशन रिव्यू अथॉरिटी रेगुलेशंस रिव्यू अथॉरिटी 2.0 इनकी रिकमेंडेशंस थी जो फिजिकल रिटर्न्स देने पड़ते हैं व्हेन इट कम्स टू अमेलगमेशन और डिस्कंट सॉरी मर्जर और डिसकंटिन्यूएशन एंड व्हिच विल नाउ बी ऑटोमेटेड तो फिजिकल रिटर्न्स नहीं देने पड़ेंगे कॉस्ट ऑफ रेगुलेटरी कंप्लायंस इसकी वजह से कम हो जाएगा एंड नाउ ऑटोमेटेड ट्रांजैक्शंस और ऑटोमेटेड रिटर्न्स विल बी गिवन देन अगेन वर्कशॉप्स अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम्स वर क्रिएटेड एंड सो दैट इंडस्ट्रीज व्हिच आर यू नो इंटरेस्टेड इन द फॉरेक्स फॉरेक्स मार्केट या जो फॉरेक्स में डील कर रहे हैं दे शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ द वेरियस पॉलिसी चेंजेस राइट industry and users industry body traders users of foreign exchange they should be aware of the recent policy changes do be policy changes i have especially related to the forex department unme uh, they should be made aware to uske liye bahut sare workshops or campaigns arrange kare gaye hain then cross border payments in inr this we all know uh, with russia it was discussed and also with uh, other countries the discussions are going on 
क्रॉस बॉर्डर पेमेंट्स की बात हो रही है क्रॉस बॉर्डर पेमेंट्स इन देर आई नॉर इन देर डोमेस्टिक करेंसी राइट सो दिस वॉज डिस्कस्ड विद रशिया दिस वॉज अलाउड अब इसके बेनिफिट क्या होंगे इट विल Firstly, be beneficial to both countries. De-dollarization hoga. The dependence on dollar will be decreased. We all know what is happening currently in uh, US, where they do not have enough money to pay back to pay their bills, and debt ceiling crisis. Or I, we have already discussed that, right? So, de-dollarization करना बहुत important है. That is one of the benefits. It will be benefits of both towards both the countries. Conversion cost बचेगी, payment and settlement cost बचेगा, time बचेगा. That is the first benefit. And surplus rupee balances. in the special rupee vostro accounts can be used for other remit, uh, remunerative purposes also na hi sirf trade ke liye but other purposes ke liye bhi unko use kara ja sakta hai i hope you all know what are special vostro accounts or rupee vostro accounts we discussed we have discussed about nostro vostro accounts in detail theek hai bbps क्रॉस बॉर्डर इनबाउंड बिल पेमेंट सिस्टम बीबीपीएस में बहुत सारे चेंजेस आए हैं सबसे पहले तो भारत बिल पेमेंट सिस्टम आई होप यू ऑल नो व्हाट इज बीबीपीएस देन इट वाज एक्सपेंडेड टू नॉट जस्ट रेकरिंग और रेकरिंग ट्रांजैक्शंस बट आल्सो नॉन रेकरिंग ट्रांजैक्शंस वर आल्सो इंक्लूडेड सो नाउ बोथ रेकरिंग नॉन रेकरिंग ट्रांजैक्शंस आर इंक्लूडेड इन बीबीपीएस भारत बिल पेमेंट सिस्टम फर्दर जो एडिशन हुआ था दैट वाज क्रॉस बॉर्डर इनवर्ड रेमिटेंसेस राइट सो इफ समबडी इज लिविंग आउटसाइड they they want to make any payment in India, bill payment in in India, India, India bill can do so. So relative India mein reh raha hai, using special exchange houses in that country, uh, banks ko authorization mili thi by the RBI. Certain banks were given authorization. They were authorized by the RBI to maintain special वॉस्ट्रो account, special वॉस्ट्रो account and using the exchange houses of the foreign country, a person can remit payments here to make bill payments here to jo bill payer hai to actual bill payer hai let's suppose my mother is here in india and i have to make a bill payment so i can remit it in her account in the bill pay account jisme for uh, through this sva account and this will be in touch with the exchange houses working abroad theek hai so meri country mein jo exchange houses hain they will be working along with these authorized banks which will maintain special vostro accounts and through this bill payment can be made uh, right inbound bill payments from abroad through rupee drawing agreement yahi ek rupee drawing agreement tha jisme special uh, uh, you know accounts will be created vostro accounts and certain banks were given responsibility by the rbi theek hai then the last uh, topic or the chapter for today's discussion very important this talks about regulation supervision and financial stability three of the major functions of rbi regulation regulation of what the entire banking structure supervision of the banking structure and financial stability ki baat karte hain when we talk about financial stability financial stability unit hi sabse pehle hai financial stability mein uh, there is a financial stability report fsr i hope you all are aware दो बार आती है बाय एनुअल रिपोर्ट है फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी रिपोर्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिपोर्ट गो थ्रू द रीसेंट रिपोर्ट दिसंबर मंथ में जो आई थी मोस्टली दिस रिपोर्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट द स्ट्रेस टेस्टिंग फ्रेमवर्क द सेंसिटिविटी टेस्टिंग फ्रेमवर्क इन केस देर इज एनी एडवर्स कंडीशन इन केस देर इज एनी एडवर्स कंडीशन वॉट विल बी द इंपैक्ट इन द इंटायर बैंकिंग स्ट्रक्चर दैट वॉज द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस फाइनेंशियल यू नो दैट वॉज एनालाइज बाय द फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी रिपोर्ट ठीक है। जो भी रिस्क है डाटा एसोसिएटेड विदेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी सिस्टमिक रिस्क है या सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क है बैंकिंग सेक्टर पे क्या रिस्क आ सकता है इन केस ऑफ वन बैंक फेलियर अ टू विक टू फेल बैंक यस अ टू विक टू फेल बैंक एक्चुअली इफ इट फेल्स व्हाट विल बी द रिस्क व्हाट विल बी द इम्पैक्ट ऑन द फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी तो ये रिस्क असेसमेंट करनी बहुत जरूरी है दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एफएसयू फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी यूनिट व्हाट आर द की इनिशिएटिव्स तो कुछ स्ट्रेस इंडिकेटर्स दे मैप दे मैप सर्टेन स्ट्रेस इंडिकेटर्स व्हिच वर मेंशन इन देयर इन द फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी रिपोर्ट जिसमें एक एक स्ट्रेस इंडिकेटर फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम स्ट्रेस इंडिकेटर वाज पब्लिश्ड इन द एफएसआर रिपोर्ट ऑफ दिसंबर 2022 ये मैंने बता दिया फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी रिपोर्ट अब दो रिपोर्ट्स आई थी द फर्स्ट वन वाज इन द मंथ ऑफ जून एंड रिसेंटली जो दिसंबर में आई थी गो थ्रू दिस रिपोर्ट इंपॉर्टेंट है आपके लिए क्या क्या बात हुई थी जस्ट हैव अ ब्रीफ लुक या फिर वो सेशन ही दे सकते हैं आप सो द फर्स्ट रिपोर्ट दैट वाज इन द मंथ ऑफ जून दिस टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस हाइलाइटेड कोविड के जो भी इंपैक्ट्स हो रहे हैं रिस्क 
जो है टूवर्ड्स द बैंकिंग सेक्टर बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन पैंडेमिक बिकॉज ऑफ द वॉर द फोकस ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट वॉज ऑन दीज टू सेक्टर्स जो दिसंबर वाली मैगजीन थी दिस हाईलाइटेड ऑन वेरियस मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक स्ट्रेस मैक्रो स्ट्रेस टेस्ट ठीक है एंड द एफ एस डी सी सब यूनिट सब कमिटी एक एफ एस डी सी की सब कमिटी है वी हैव डिस्कस दिस वेरी रिसेंटली इसका चेयरमैन कौन है वो भी हमने डिस्कस करा हुआ है राइट सो देर वॉज जस्ट वन मीटिंग दैट टू प्लेस इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वेन ओके डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेगुलेशन की बात करते हैं व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेगुलेशन इट इज नॉट जस्ट द बैंकिंग स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बैंक शेड्यूल कमर्शियल बैंक्स बट सारे ही तरीके के बैंक्स आ जाते हैं ऑल इंडिया फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूट्स आर आल्सो रेगुलेटेड सो द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेगुलेशन ऑफ कमर्शियल बैंक द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेगुलेशन इज द नोडल डिपार्टमेंट फॉर कमर्शियल बैंक वेरियस अदर बैंक सीआईसी क्रेडिट इन्फॉर्मेशन कंपनी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ए आई ठीक है व्हाट आर द इनिशिएटिव्स एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेमवर्क आया था एक्सपेक्टेड क्रेडिट लॉस फ्रेमवर्क दिस आई हैड ओनली डिस्कस आई थिंक इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी इट सेल्फ एक्सपेक्टेड क्रेडिट लॉस फ्रेमवर्क तो अभी क्या होता है एनपीएस बैंक्स के जब होते हैं दे हैव टू मेंटेन प्रोविजन जिसकी वजह से अ लॉट ऑफ कैपिटल वो उनकी फंस जाती है राइट अ कैपिटल इज स्टक एंड दे कैनॉट यूटिलाइज दिस कैपिटल ऑन एनी गुड थिंग और एनी बेटरमेंट ऑफ द बैंक राइट और क्रिएटिंग मोर क्रेडिट इन द बैंक ठीक है इन द इकोनॉमी नॉट बैंक ठीक है so because of NPA structure जब NPA की आप वेट करते रहेंगे बैंक हैव टू वेट फॉर सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम पहले वो एक स्टैंडर्ड एसेट है फिर वो एक सब स्टैंडर्ड एसेट स्ट्रेस एसेट बनेगा तब जाके वो एन पी ए बनेगा जब यू नो वेन नाइनटी डेज तक देर इज नो रीपेमेंट ऑन दैट लोन सो दे हैव टू वेट फॉर सच नाइनटी डेज टू फॉर अ लोन टू बिकम एन एन पी ए सो आर आफ्टर दिस प्रोविजन आर क्रिएटेड सो एक्सपेक्टेड क्रेडिट लॉस फ्रेमवर्क में क्या बोला गया था कि एक्सपेक्टेड क्रेडिट लॉस आप पहले से लगा के चलिए एनी फाइनेंशियल एसेट एनी फाइनेंशियल लोन इट शुड बी कैटेगराइज ऑन थ्री कैटेगरीज स्टेज वन स्टेज टू स्टेज थ्री बेस्ड ऑन बेस्ड ऑन द एक्सपेक्टेड क्रेडिट लॉस जो आप एक्सपेक्ट करके चल रहे हैं कि लेट्स लेट्स सपोज किसी भी सेक्टर का है फॉर एग्जाम्पल एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर में आपकी क्या एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि लॉस होगा या नहीं होगा ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट कैटेगराइज दीज बैंक ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्ट्रेस That is attached to these assets. Three stages में आप इनको कैटेगराइज करिए एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट नाउ स्टार्ट मेंटेनिंग वेरियस बफर्स वेरियस प्रोविजन दैट यू हैव टू मेंटेन डू नॉट वेट फॉर एन एन पी ए टू अकर ठीक है दिस वॉज टॉक्ट अबाउट इन द एक्सपेक्टेड क्रेडिट लॉस फ्रेमवर्क वेन इट कम्स टू प्रोविजनिंग बाय बैंक देन एक और डिस्कशन पेपर आया था वी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट इज वेल सिक्योरिटाइजेशन ऑफ एसेट स्ट्रेस एसेट फ्रेमवर्क इसमें स्ट्रेस्ड एसेट की बहुत हमने डिटेल uh, में बात करी थी व्हाट आर स्ट्रेस्ड एसेट एंड हाउ विल दीज बी सिक्योरिटाइज नाउ ठीक है देन हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट आर द एडवर्स इंपैक्ट ऑफ एन एनपीए व्हेन एन एनपीए टेक्स प्लेस बैंक हैव टू मेंटेन सर्टेन प्रोविजंस अ लॉट ऑफ देयर कैपिटल इज आल्सो स्टक व्हिच कैन नॉट बी यूटिलाइज्ड फर्दर यू नो द ट्रस्ट ऑफ द इकोनॉमी और द कंज्यूमर्स इज रिड्यूस्ड ऑन अ सर्टन बैंक अगर आपको पता लगता है कि पीएनबी से कोई बहुत ज्यादा अमाउंट का लोन लेके भाग गया विल यू बी एबल टू ट्रस्ट दैट बैंक विल यू बी एबल टू क्रिएट मोर एफ डीज इन दैट बैंक आई आई एम श्योर नॉट राइट सो द ट्रस्ट ऑफ द कम्युनिटी रिड्यूस इन दैट पर्टिकुलर बैंक जिसका एनपीएस बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा है ठीक है देन इन ऑर्डर टू मिटिगेट दी एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज अब आरबीआई बहुत ज्यादा फोकस कर रहा है क्लाइमेट चेंज पे दी आरबीआई ऑल्सो टू पार्ट इन द ग्रीन क्लाइमेट फ्रेमवर्क है लुक एट दैट उसके अलावा डिपोजिट ग्रीन डिपोजिट एक्सेप्टेंस ब्रॉड फ्रेमवर्क फॉर एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ ग्रीन डिपोजिट वॉज ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड आई हैड अ डिस्कशन अबाउट दिस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है देन डिस्कलोजर फ्रेमवर्क For climate related financial risks, this was also discussed. See, अब ये annual report का एक बहुत बड़ा फायदा हो गया We have discussed everything जो हम पिछले कुछ महीनों में which I have discussed और गुलाब सा मैम डिस्कस बिफोर मी सो यू नाउ नो वट एवर इज इंपॉर्टेंट पिछले एक साल में क्या क्या हुआ है आई होप यू आर एबल टू रिकॉल ऑल दैट और जो जो भी इफ देर इज एनी थिंग विच यू माइट हैव मिस्ड और एनी थिंग विच यू नीड मोर क्लैरिटी ऑन गो थ्रू दैट वीडियो अगेन वॉच दैट एंटायर सेशन यू हैव द नोट्स We go through the notes. It can be asked in phase one or phase two. Main, कोई भी question आ सकता है. So question can be asked on framework for on green deposits. ठीक है. और ECL approach जो हमने अभी देखी, right? Discussion paper on stressed asset. Stressed asset क्या होता है? SMA क्या होता है? That can be asked. Then stress testing की बात भी हुई है. Guidance on climate 
सिनेरियो एनालिसिस एंड स्ट्रेस टेस्टिंग सर्वे ऑन क्लाइमेट रिस्क वॉज डन सर्वे ऑन क्लाइमेट रिस्क एंड सस्टेनेबल फाइनेंस वॉज कंडक्टेड विथ ट्वेल्व पी एस पी सिक्सटीन प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक डेटा इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है जस्ट नो दैट अ सर्वे ऑफ दिस द क्लाइमेट रिस्क वॉज कंडक्टेड then establishment of digital banking units this we have already discussed 75 ka target tha 84 dbus hai important question can be asked theek hai regulatory framework for the participation of indian banks in branches in gift ifsc was laid down to uh, jo indian banks hai how can they participate in the gift ifsc to ifsc banking units hote hain ibus what is the regulatory framework for that this was introduced by the rbi pure saal mein then uh, this i have already explained jo discussion uh, jo paper aaya tha discussion paper on expected credit loss approach three categories stage 1 stage 2 uh, stage 3 may financial assets ko categorize karna hai based on the stress expected stress and pehle to initial recognition hoga this is actually accounting standards mein aisa hota hai banks uh, you know global banks they already do that right so jo international accounting standards hain they are already following this i think ifrs 9 एज फार एज आई कैन रिमेम्बर ठीक है तो पहले एक इनिशियल रिपोर्टिंग होगी देन सब्सिक्वेंट रिपोर्टिंग होगी ऑफ दिस एसेट जिसमें सब्सिक्वेंटली यू विल रिपोर्ट इफ देर इज एन इंक्रीज और अ डिक्रीज इन द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ लॉस ठीक है और आर आर बीज और स्मॉल कॉपरेटिव बैंक फॉर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ दिस फ्रेमवर्क ठीक है यूसीबीज वर एडवाइज टू रिव्यू देर लोन पॉलिसीज बाय द बैंक बोर्ड एटलीस्ट वंस इन अ फाइनेंशियल ईयर दिस वॉज ऑल्सो डन यूसीबीज का फोर्थ ईयर स्ट्रक्चर था ये हम ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर चुके हैं ईयर इट इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टोटल डिपोजिट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ यूसीबी वॉज चेंज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट लिख के ले लीजिए ये क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली फेज वन या फेज टू में आएगा दे केन इधर आस्क यू द डिपोजिट दे केन इधर आस्क यू सी आर ए आर कितना मेंटेन करना है राइट दैट वॉज या दैट कैन बी डेफिनेटली आस्क इन योर एग्जाम ठीक है अब RCBs that are rural cooperative banks with assessed net worth of 100 crore increased to 50 lakh crore ye uh, kya baat ho rahi hai net worth ki baat ho rahi hai the limit of housing loan acha housing loan ki baat ho rahi hai here the limit of housing loan jo hai the, which are sanctioned jo loans PUCB sanction kar rahe hain the housing loans which are sanctioned by the primary urban cooperative banks or rural cooperative banks they were enhanced Rural cooperative banks with stressed asset net worth of hundred crore. This was increased to fifty lakh. Uh, net worth of less than yes. Uh, Jinki net worth had less crore. The housing loan was increased to fifty lakh from earlier twenty lakh. Right. So uh, rural cooperative banks, who are with the net worth of five hundred crore, if they are giving housing loans initially, uh, the amount was twenty lakh. Now it is increased to fifty lakh. ठीक है इसके अलावा फॉर अदर आरसीबीज 75 लाख है जिनकी नेटवर्थ इतनी नहीं है अदर आरसीबीज दैट इज 75 लाख देन न्यू कैटेगराइजेशन भी थी हाउसिंग लोन्स की फॉर टियर 1 ये हमने पढ़ा था आई रिमेंबर वी हैव डिस्कस दिस टियर 1 यूसीबीज के लिए और टियर 2 टू टियर 4 यूसीबीज के लिए वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस व्हेन इट कम्स टू हाउसिंग लोन्स इसके अलावा आरसीबीज कैन नाउ गिव लोन्स इन द रियल एस्टेट कमर्शियल सेक्टर रियल Yes, real estate, residential housing sector, residential housing sector. ठीक है. So commercial real estate, residential housing sector, RCBs are permitted to give loans to them. ठीक है. Uh, just have a look at this. We have already discussed all of these in detail. This is about the tier, uh, the four tier structure. What is the maintenance of net worth? Net worth बहुत important है. And what is the next thing that is important? That is CRAR that they have to maintain. Right. So the net worth is two crore for. tier 1 ucbs baki tier 2 to tier 4 ucbs ke liye it is 5 crore then uh, minimum crar is 9% for tier 1 ucbs and 12% for rest ucbs theek hai then uh, fixing yes to so nbfcs ko they have to have a remuneration committee nomination and remuneration committee nbfcs have to have a nomination and remuneration committee this is part of your corporate governance topic uh, have a look at this what is this committee national uh, nomination and remuneration committee this helps in fixing the compensation or what will be the compensation criteria for key managerial personnel kmps theek hai so nbfcs will have to have a, a nomination and remuneration committee now theek hai guidelines on digital lending this also i have discussed in the past guidelines of digital lending to third party lending hote hain ya jo aggregator apps hote hain apps ke through lending karte hain 
वॉट इज देयर रोल राइट इन डिजिटल लेंडिंग वॉट इज देयर रोल हाउ लेंडिंग इज आउटसोर्स एट टाइम्स बाय बैंक एंड यू नो के वाई सी रिक्वायरमेंट कैसे करनी है दीज ऑल वी हैड डिस्कस्ड राइट मिस टेलिंग जो होती है दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एनी बैंक टू हैव अ कंप्लायंस यू नो बेटर कंप्लायंस के लिए ताकि मिस सेलिंग ना हो या ब्रीच ऑफ डेटा प्रिवेसी ना हो बाई दीज थर्ड एंटिटी थर्ड पार्टीज एंटिटीज ठीक है सो रिस्ट्रिक्शन वॉज इम्पोज ऑन थर्ड पार्टीज एंटिटीज वॉट इज द डेटा दे केन यू नो दे केन कलेक्ट नीड बेसिस पे डेटा कलेक्ट कर सकते हैं एंड हु इज इट टू बी डिस्कस्ड विद इन डेटा राइट सो मेंटेनेंस ऑफ डेटा प्रिवेसी एंड टू अवॉइड मिस सेलिंग बाई दीज थर्ड पार्टिंग लेंडिंग एंटिटीज दीज वर डिस्कस्ड इन डिजिटल लेंडिंग गाइडलाइन अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट है राइट सो थ्रू द सेशन आई होप यू हैव कवर्ड कि क्या क्या इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड क्या क्या आप छोड़ तो कुछ भी नहीं सकते बट वट एवर इज डिस्कस्ड इन लास्ट सिक्स सेवन मंथ स्पेशली वेन इट कम्स टू आर बी टू फोर सेवन दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है फेज वन फेज टू दोनों में ही लीगल एंटिटी आइडेंटिफायर ट्वेंटी डिजिट कोड वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अभी बहुत रिसेंटली ही डिस्कस करा है राइट right? This was extended to NBFCs and UCBs. पहले 50 करोड़ पे मेंटेन करना था राइट नॉन इंडिविजुअल बोरोअर्स जो है इफ दे आर बियॉन्ड फिफ्टी करोड़ देन दे हैड टू हैव अ लीगल एंटिटी आइडेंटिफायर फिर ये फिफ्टी से ट्वेंटी फाइव करोड़ हुआ एंड नाउ फाइव करोड़ दैट इज द लिमिट ऑल नॉन आइडेंटिफाइड सॉरी नॉन इंडिविजुअल बोरोअर्स ऑफ बैंक ऑफ ए आई एफ आईज कमर्शियल बैंक ए आई एफ आईज लोकल एरिया बैंक स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक यूसीबीज एनबीएफसीज Having total exposure of five crore and above has to have or have to obtain a LEI. Okay, legal identifier, uh, legal entity identifier. Okay. Then yes, SDF. SDF ki baat hui hai. SDF was introduced. Standing deposit facility was introduced in the last corridor, and uh, the the any balances, any balances that is held by the bank with the RBI is part of. okay we'll have read that this the uh, standing deposit facility was introduced as an additional tool for absorbing liquidity ye humne samajh liya it was uh, you know as an alternate to reverse repo rate without collateral theek okay? hai without any collateral introduced in 2022 and it was decided that balances held by banks with the rbi under the sdf under the sdf if banks have any balances with the rbi it will be an eligible under slr will be eligible uh, under slr assets and these eligibility will be level 1 high quality liquid assets we all know high quality liquid assets banks ko maintain karne padte hain when it comes to computation of their liquidity coverage ratio liquidity coverage ratio mein high quality liquid assets banks have to maintain and S, uh, sdf mein if there is any balance maintained by the banks with the rbi and these slr requirements they are eligible for the slr requirements this will be part of level 1 hqla theek hai revised guidelines issue hui thi when it comes to recovery agents these recovery agents cannot misbehave with the consumers and they cannot resort to intimidation or any harassment ye guidelines rbi ne issue kari thi arcs ki guidelines uh, change hui thi uh, guidelines were brought out we have already discussed this here they talked about transparency they, they talked about compliance requirement of arcs they talked about corporate governance structure of arcs interest rate risks in banking book i had discussed this interest rate risk kya hota hai if there is any adverse movement in the risk oh sorry in the interest rate if there is any adverse movement in the interest rate so for example maine expect kara tha meri security ka interest rate badhega however there is an adverse uh, movement in the economy interest rate ekdam se fall kar gaye what will this have uh, what will this be how will this be impacting the banking book of the bank so if i am a bank how will this uh, adverse risk uh, interest rate risk will impact my banking book so these uh, guidelines were uh, directions were given by the rbi on this then ye bhi humne discuss kara hai draft guidelines on minimum capital requirement for market risk jisme humne market risk ki baat kari thi and what will be the requirement that is the minimum capital requirement as per basel 3 norms we had already discussed this isme labs local area banks payment banks in, uh, excluded hote hain then this is the agenda for department of regulation what is the agenda comprehensive review of the instructions of non stat uh, of statutory and other restrictions ye general hai nothing specific review of the miscellaneous non banking companies regulations very general nothing specific 
Now coming to the fintech department, a very important, very important department, fintech department, right? So fintech department ka function kya hai? You have to know that very recently this was created in on January 4, 2022. January 4, 2022 mein ye department bana tha to work towards innovation, to work towards uh, usage of technology while giving financial products, right? So new uh, innovative products pilot basis pe pehle launch ho. राइट right? जिसके अंदर बहुत सारी चीजें आती हैं सो so, सबसे पहले सीबीडीसी की बात करी गई है इनिशियली द की इनिशिएटिव्स टॉक्ड अबाउट सीबीडीसी सीबीडीसी का एक कांसेप्ट नोट आया था देन टू पायलट बेसिस पे टू टाइप्स ऑफ सीबीडीसीज वर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड सीबीडीसी रिटेल सीबीडीसी होलसेल एंड इट कम्स टू सीबीडीसी रिटेल नाइन बैंक्स में इनिशियली इंक्लूड हुआ था दे नाइन बैंक्स पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दिस पायलट प्रोजेक्ट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस चाहे ये पुराना हो गया नवंबर का डेटा है बट यू स्टिल हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस व्हाट आर दीज नाइन बैंक्स यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस देन फर्स्ट पायलट फॉर द रिटेल इनिशियली फोर सिटीज में फोर बैंक्स से इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ था फर्दर अदर फोर बैंक्स वर आल्सो इंक्लूडेड राइट सिटीज कौन सी है यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट व्हाट वर द फर्स्ट फोर बैंक्स द पायलट बेसिस में जो फर्स्ट फोर बैंक्स थे रिमेंबर देयर नेम्स लर्न देयर नेम्स एंड उसके अलावा जो फोर अदर बैंक्स इंक्लूड हुए हैं लर्न देयर नेम्स एज़ वेल ठीक है then sustainable development of the financial uh, sector ke under uh, this was the purpose of this uh, committee working group sorry a working group was formed under the chairmanship of the executive director in charge of the uh, fintech department they talked about the a framework a framework will be formulated framework will work towards what towards sustainable development of the fintech sector ठीक है एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स ये हम बात कर चुके हैं 75 का टारगेट था करंटली 84 डीबीयूज आर इन ऑपरेशन देन व्हाट आर द प्रोजेक्ट्स अंडर आरबीआईएच आरबीआईएच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिजर्व बैंक इनोवेशन हब सेक्शन 8 कंपनी है होली ऑन सब्सिडरी ऑफ द आरबीआई वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स द फंक्शन ऑफ इनोवेशन टू ब्रिंग इनोवेशन इन द इकॉनमी राइट ओके अब इसमें केसीसी लेंडिंग की बात करी गई है uh end to end digitization of the kcc lending this was very recently uh, also in news again dobara is uh, iski baat hui thi end to end digitization of kcc lending so jo kcc lending ka process hota hai using the kisan credit card uh, you know the cards that the holders have they uh, lending can take place banks lend to these farmers this uh, process should be digitized that was done by the rbih uske ilawa ek tax print kara tha swanari tax print this was supposed to be working towards providing sustainable solutions to the problems of low and middle income uh, group women and also women entrepreneurs theek hai so that was the function of this swanari tax print again important hai what was the objective who brought out that is also important so rbi has conducted the swanari tax print which will uh, create produce smart creative sustainable solutions for underserved low and middle income women and women owned enterprises theek hai then uh, rbi has also uh, took part in various mous ye bhi humne beech mein pada hua hai various mous with various iits recently iif if i i think triple it hyderabad ke sath bhi ye uh, inhone kara tha or i think it was ifsc right but rbi has been uh, you know a part of various mous especially with various iits ठीक है रेगुलेटरी सैंड बॉक्स ये हम ऑलरेडी बहुत बार पढ़ चुके हैं लेट एस हैव अ लुक एट द कोहोट सो वेरियस कोहोट सबसे ओके सेकंड कोहोट से स्टार्ट करते हैं सो व्हेन इट कम्स टू फिनटेक डिपार्टमेंट दिस दिस सेक्टर दिस सेक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फिनटेक में हमने अभी तक जो जो भी बात करी है बी एट आर बी आई एच बी एट द सी बी डी सी सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी आर बी आई एच डी बी यूज डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स एंड देन नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रेगुलेटरी सैंड बॉक्स ये सभी बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है all these topics are very important go through them even if they are uh, you know not recently in news theek hai so uh, the regulatory sandbox mein second cohort aaya tha this was the theme was cross border payments four out of eight products were tested third cohort ki kya theme thi now a question comes ki kya sare themes yaad karne hain yes they are very important you have to learn all the themes of all the cohorts theek hai fifth cohort under the uh, regulatory sandbox mechanism has been announced on the theme neutral to be theme neutral that is the theme okay wherein innovative product services technologies cutting across various functions in the reserve banks regulatory domain would be eligible to apply okay on tap application facility is available under this 
रेगुलेटरी सैंडबॉक्स मैकेनिज्म इज करंटली ओपन फॉर द थीम्स Uh, किस किस थीम्स के लिए है वो भी आरबीआई ने एनुअल एनुअल uh, रिपोर्ट में मेंशन करा है कौन कौन सी थीम के लिए अभी तक दिस ऑन टैप एप्लीकेशन फैसिलिटी इज अवेलेबल सो द थीम इज रिटेल पेमेंट्स एंड क्रॉस बॉर्डर पेमेंट्स ठीक है देन हार्बिंजर फर्स्ट ग्लोबल हैकेथॉन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इसका सेकेंड एडिशन हुआ था रिसेंटली हार्बिंजर ट्वेंटी वॉज लॉन्च विद थीम इंक्लूसिव डिजिटल सर्विसेज दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट वाला भी इंपॉर्टेंट है सेकेंड एडिशन हुआ था कब हुआ था वॉट इज द थीम यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट ठीक है देन कम्स द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सुपरविजन डीओ एस इज इंटरेस्टेड विद रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ सुपरविजन ये तीन डिपार्टमेंट बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है सुपरविजन फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी फिनटेक डिपार्टमेंट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेगुलेशन ठीक है कमर्शियल बैंक के लिए सुपरवाइजरी डैश बोर्ड आए थे जिसमें Through this dashboards, पहले तो ये quarterly updated होंगे, update होंगे these dashboards. Through these dashboards, they will help for various senior management. These dashboards will be uh, so supervision जो है, this will be made possible for various managers, right? So senior managers, the dashboards which are meant for senior managers will be updated, and the RBI developed the dynamic monitoring mechanism, monitoring dashboards for all supervised entities. ठीक है. फ्रॉड एनालिसिस की बात कर लेते हैं इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा है क्या क्या फ्रॉड हुआ है इन द बैंकिंग सेक्टर व्हाट इज द मोर ऑफ दीज फ्रॉड्स सो सबसे ज्यादा फ्रॉड्स जो हुए हैं दैट इज इन द प्राइवेट सेक्टर व्हेन इट कम्स टू द नंबर ऑफ फ्रॉड्स द नंबर ऑफ फ्रॉड्स हैव बीन मोर इन द प्राइवेट सेक्टर हाउ एवर वेन वी कम टू द वॉल्यूम ऑफ फ्रॉड्स और द अमाउंट ऑफ फ्रॉड्स वो सबसे ज्यादा हुए हैं पब्लिक सेक्टर में प्राइवेट सेक्टर में नंबर ऑफ फ्रॉड हैज बिन मोर एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ फ्रॉड्स हैज बिन मोर इन द पब्लिक सेक्टर ठीक है In terms of number, when you talk about the mode of uh, you know the the frauds, yeah, which section may these frauds were? This has been in digital payments, both card and internet. In terms of value, okay. In terms of uh, in terms of number, the frauds has been in digital payment. Uh, when it comes to card and internet, both. While in terms of value, the fraud primarily is reported in loan portfolio. When value ki baat aati hai, value sabse zada kaun se frauds were? Loan portfolio me. and number most of the frauds have taken place in a digital payment mechanism theek hai then supervisory measurement mein uh, measures mein sabse zyada important hai dax dax platform jo rbi ne create kara hai towards it will it is a subtech subtech when we talk about subtech we are saying using technology using technology supervision is done supervision is done by the rbi using technology to uske liye dax portal dax app aayi hai to make sure that banks are complying with the various macro prudential norms this uh, you know this such portal this app was created so that rbi can have better uh, supervision on these banks theek hai launched in 2022 by the rbi web based end to end workflow application through this you know uh, communication will be easy and uh, verification will be easy and uh, keeping a check on various banks when it comes to supervise uh, supervision will be very easy theek hai ऑफ साइट सुपरविजन तो एक होती है ऑन साइट सुपरविजन देन देर इज ऑफ साइट सुपरविजन दो ऑन साइट सुपरविजन के ऊपर बीच में जो होती है दैट इज ऑफ साइट सुपरविजन ठीक है और ऑफ साइट मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ साइट मॉनिटरिंग राइट सो जब दो ऑन साइट मॉनिटरिंग के बीच में देर इज एन ऑफ साइट मॉनिटरिंग टेकिंग प्लेस इन बिटवीन कभी भी हो जाती है दैट इज ऑफ साइट मॉनिटरिंग ठीक है then rbi has discussed about international practices of supervision or uh, with this or the agenda of rbi uh, when it comes to mentioning this in the annual report is rbi wanted to compare their supervision with the supervision of various other banks so for example yahan pe monetary authority of singapore ki baat kari gayi hai so they have set up two off site divisions they have set up two off site divisions within the inspection and supervisory methodologies theek hai अब फ्रेमवर्क और मेथोडोलॉजीज की बात होती है तो सिमिलरली यूएस ने द फेड रिजर्व बैंक वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दैट द फेड रिजर्व बैंक यूएस यूजेस सुपरविजन रेगुलेशन स्टैटिस्टिकल असेसमेंट बैंक रिस्क मॉडल फॉर ऑफ साइट मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ बैंक अब इससे कोई डायरेक्टली क्वेश्चन नहीं आएगा बट द एजेंडा ऑफ दिस इज टू टेल यू कि व्हाट व्हाई आरबीए हैज पुट दिस इन देयर एनुअल रिपोर्ट इज टू कंपेयर देयर सुपरविजन विद अदर सुपरविजन और अदर सेंट्रल बैंक सुपरविजन ठीक है दिस इज दजेंडा फॉर सुपर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सुपरविजन वेन इट कम्स टू द नेक्स्ट ईयर ठीक है कैलिब्रेटेड हॉर्मोनाइजेशन ऑफ द सुपरवाइजरी अप्रोच अक्रॉस वेरियस सेगमेंट्स बाय 
the phased introduction of various process this includes audit processes and compliance testing also so basically jo jo bhi abhi compliance testing ho rahi hai ya jo audit mechanism ho rahi hai they will be further enhanced auditing will be enhanced uh, compliance testing will be enhanced jo ki supervision ka part hai theek hai then strengthening of cyber security this is very important have uh, remember this cyber security pe bahut zyada focus hai rbi ka when it comes to you already know the cyber frauds are increasing grievance redressal mechanism ko bahut zyada robust karna hai that is also the you know uh, the uh, agenda or the importance that rbi is giving towards this segment then dicgc this uh, we all know what is dicgc why it was created okay एक लास्ट चैप्टर और है दैट इज टुवर्ड्स पब्लिक डेट मैनेजमेंट ठीक है डीआईसीजीसी की बात करते हैं होली ऑन सब्सिडी ऑफ आरबीआई वी ऑल नो दैट वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स डिपॉजिट इंश्योरेंस एंड क्रेडिट गारंटी बैंक्स में जब आप अपना इंश्योरेंस सॉरी जब आप अपना डिपॉजिट रखते हैं आर दीज डिपॉजिट इन शॉर्ट ये अपाइव लैक दीज डिपॉजिट आर इन शॉर्ट एंड हु इज गिविंग दिस इंश्योरेंस दैट इज द डीआईसीजीसी दैट इज द कॉर्पोरेशन वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स इंश्योरेंस ऑफ वेरियस डिपोजिट ठीक है फंक्शन ऑफ डीआई सीटीसी फोकसिंग ऑन दिस इज बिकॉज रिसेंटली यूएस में बहुत ज्यादा बैंक फेलियर्स हुए हैं अभी रिसेंटली ही मैंने आई है इन दी आरबीआई टू फोर सेवन सेशन Uh, so this is very important ki aap uh, you know you go through the data of specially dicgc theek hai the number of fully protected amounts the number of fully protected amounts as on march 31 constituted 98% of the total number of accounts to so, jitne bhi total amount, uh, number of accounts hai 98% are fully insured this is one of the reasons that you know uh, consumers when it comes to uh, you know indian economy consumers can trust or uh, investors or depositors can trust the banking structure can trust the formal banking structure theek hai then dicgc build up of third deposit insurance fund ek fund created hota hai jis fund ke through utilization of uh, you know insurance claims jab aata hai if in case a bank fail or in a bank run situation utilization of this fund deposit insurance fund takes place So DICGC builds up its deposit insurance fund through the transfer of its surplus, that is the excess of the income over expenditure. Now, income क्या होती है? The premium that is received from various banks. Now, banks के पास जब deposit आते हैं, a percentage of their deposit is given to DICGC in the form of premium. In the form of premium, a premium received from insured banks. इंटरेस्ट इनकम फ्रॉम वेरियस इन्वेस्टमेंट्स जो DICGC के पास जो पैसे हैं, उसमें वो इन्वेस्टमेंट करेगी, उसके ऊपर जो इंटरेस्ट आएगा, that forms the income. What is the expenditure of DICGC? The payment of claims, जो insurance claims अगर आ रहा है, that will be the expenditure of DICGC. Then the size of this fund, ये fund का क्या size है? This is mentioned in the report, one lakh sixty nine thousand two ninety three crore. This is also important provisional data है, but important. ठीक है. अब अगर uh you know when there is a default by any bank if they are unable to pay their uh, depositors up to which date or kitne time tak aapko aapka paisa wapas mil jayega this is 90 days so dicgc is empowered to distribute the willing depositors of such banks a sum of up to 5 lakh within a period of 90 days theek hai ye pura process hai ki aapko uh, claim submit karna hota hai banks ko claim submit karna hota hai within 45 days that is the entire process theek hai Then last जल्दी जल्दी खत्म करते हैं चैप्टर सिक्स दैट इज पब्लिक डेट मैनेजमेंट वी ऑल नो आरबीआई ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट मैनेजेस द डेट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट आरबीआई इशूज वेरियस सिक्योरिटीज ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट तो इंटरनल डेट मैनेजमेंट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द आरबीआई इज इंटरेस्टेड विथ द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ मैनेजिंग द डोमेस्टिक डेट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ठीक है अब वेज एंड मीन एडवांसेस मैं बहुत बार समझा चुकी हूँ वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस अबाउट वॉट आर वेज एंड मीन एडवांसेस these are temporary loans given by the rbi to the government so rbi do half mein the rbi decides what will be the ways and means advances ka target initially this target was 1 lakh 50 uh, 1000 further extended to 50 lakh yahan pe kahi mention hoga uh, yes so in the beginning of the financial year the wma limit that was set was 1 lakh 50000 crore and further h2 ka that is second half ka 50 crore se 
target uh, that was the limit of WMA limit uh, set up by the government in uh, consultation with set up by the RBI in consultation with the government. This was the WMA. Initially, cash balance of the government was forty thousand three fifty two crore, and ये uh, WMA limit की हमने बात कर दी. Then we talk about two types of funds. So RBI है it maintains two types of funds on behalf of states. अब states भी RBI से loan लेती हैं. So two types of fund are consolidated sinking fund. गारंटी रिडेम्शन फंड कंसोलिडेटेड सिंकिंग फंड में क्या आता है सो ऑल द लोन इफ दे आर सपोज टू बी रिडीम्ड बाई दी आरबीआई ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट दिस इज डन थ्रू द कंसोलिडेटेड सिंकिंग फंड रिडेम्शन गारंटी फंड में क्या आता है दीज इंक्लूड ऑल द गारंटीज दैट आर गिवन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सेंट्रल पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइजेस तो जो पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइजेस हैं गवर्नमेंट बहुत बार उनके ऊपर गारंटी देती है राइट द गवर्नमेंट टेक्स अ गारंटी ऑन public sector enterprises payments of these public sector enterprises so these are disbursed through these grf okay here is a little information about the uh, consolidated sinking fund and the guarantee redemption fund why are we discussing this to share this data ki so far 24 states and uts uh, one ut that is puducherry have set up css that is consolidated sinking fund and 19 states are members of the grf that is guarantee redemption fund theek hai so this was yes this was the end of the entire uh, you know annual report ek bahut important data jo reh gaya hai this is the sovereign green bonds sovereign green bonds we all know the rbi is focusing a lot towards climate uh, you know mitigating climate change towards working towards the green sector green deposit framework we abhi rbi leke aaya hai and very important is this sovereign green bonds definitely is a question aayega you know uh, the amount of sovereign green bonds raised uh, that can be asked what is the issued amount that can be asked theek hai what is the entire framework that can also be asked so here is a little information 16000 crore ka target tha do tranches mein ya do parts mein ye divide hua hai 8000 crore and 8000 crore theek hai sovereign green bonds then gold bonds ki ab baat karte hain the gold bonds ग्रोन बॉन्ड्स कितना मेंटेन है सिक्स फिफ्टी फाइव वन करोड इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा है रुपीज यस रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव फिफ्टी वन करोर का दग्रीगेट सम रेस्ड थ्रू द सॉवरेन गोल्ड बॉन्ड्स राइट ठीक है विद दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यस सो हमने पूरी एनुअल रिपोर्ट का पार्ट वन कंप्लीट कर लिया है पार्ट Two is available for the enrolled student. However, part one contains each and every important detail of this annual report. Part two may be some important chapters. Hey, we will be discussing that with the enrolled students. Okay, uh, I wish you all the very best for the upcoming RBI Grade B exam, and you cannot miss this annual report. It's very important for your exam. All the very best. Thank you.